SPSS is one of the recommended software for data analysis as it has a ton of advanced data management features and it's easy to use. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to install SPSS 28 for free. Welcome to Public Health Resources. On this channel, I provide valuable resources on research, statistics and public health for students, residents, teachers, as well as the general public. Today, I'll be starting a new series of videos on data management and analysis with SPSS, where I will take beginners and even experts on how to use SPSS software statistics, for statistics, as well as scientific as well. research. This new series promises to be very enlightening and rewarding, as you will see. It's for anyone who has never used SPSS before, as well as those that have used it. I will start off the series by launching my new channel that is dedicated to everything SPSS. But you may ask that, why don't I just put this new series on my public health resources channel? Well, it's because I'm going to be covering a lot of things on SPSS and I want my viewers to have a single resource where they can get everything they need on SPSS all in one place. So it's like a one-stop shop for everything on SPSS on the internet, God willing. So I present to you my new West channel called SPSS for Research. Please feel free to post in the comment section any data analysis problems you may want me to solve using SPSS. And within the shortest possible time, I will have that video uploaded on the channel. But note that I'm going to prioritize my subscribers first before non-subscribers. So I implore you to subscribe and click on the notification icon to get notified for any new videos. So we're going to start this channel series with a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the latest version of SPSS for free. Ideally, you should buy the SPSS, but you can install um, a trial version for free. Check out my other video here on how to purchase a cheap version of SPSS. So let's get into it, shall we? IBM provides SPSS 28 with the latest and full version of SPSS for free. Albeit you can only use it for 30 days. Use on only one computer and use it once a year. When the next version comes out, you can also use it for another 30 days. So I implore you to use it well and wait till when you've got a project that you want to analyze using SPSS before you install this software. But if you are a regular user, then consider buying the software. So what are the steps for installation? Steps for installation. Go to the IBM website by typing IBM SPSS on Google. Click on Try SPSS at no cost. Create a free trial account by putting in your details. Make sure you remember this email and password, as that will be your IBM ID and password respectively when you need to log in. All right. If you do this, a seven digit code will be sent to your email to verify your email. Get the code from your email and input the code. Click create account and your account will be created. After your account has been created, you will need to download and install SPSS. So select which is your operating system. Mine is a 64-bit Windows operating system. You can use uh, the software also for Mac and 32-bit Windows also. So give it also some uh, time to download as it is about 900 MB to uh, 1 gig. Okay, go to the downloaded file and double click on it to start installation. Then you can go ahead to click on next and continue to click on next. Accept the license agreement, then click on install. Allow the software to do its thing. Click on finish. And you will need to log in to IBM before you can start using the software. So here you just enter your email and your password and you're in. The icon should automatically be on your desktop. So anytime you need to use it, you just need to go and click on it. So this is how to install SPSS 28 for free. If you have found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. In our next video, God willing, I'll be showing you a very easy way of entering data from a questionnaire into SPSS. But until then, peace.